do not try this at home i totally missed the freaking hole oh my god can i take this out okay good no basic zone what's up stitch gang welcome or welcome back to another video with the stitch live so today's video is going to be a little bit different this video was supposed to be a part of this upcoming sunday's vlog but but I started it and I was like this video needs to be a separate video so basically I'm gonna be doing a little DIY project in my room you guys are gonna see shortly you guys probably already saw from the thumbnail but if you guys are interested in seeing me do this little DIY project in my room definitely stay tuned and keep on watching before we start this video off if you haven't already if you're not already a part of the stitch gang make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe down below and become a part of the stitch gang become a stitch gal and also follow me on IG and on TikTok, on the clock app, at the Stitch Life, I'm all dressed. I'm actually about to head to Target and head to Five Below. Well, actually, I don't know if I'm going to go to Target yet. If it's not at Five Below, I'll head to Target. But I'm headed to Five Below and Target because I'm looking for these organizers for my mom. Because initially, this DIY was supposed to be for her. She's trying to organize her shoes. She has a sh ton of shoes. And she's been wanting to organize them for the longest time. She's been trying to sell some of them, so I've been trying to help her with that. So last night we went out, I'll insert the clips after, but last night we went out and we went to Target looking for this five shelf bookcase because I've seen it numerous times. I see a lot of YouTubers use it. I see a lot of people on TikTok use it and they use it to organize their stuff. You could turn it into a closet. You can even use it for a bookshelf. So I figured that could probably work for her. So we went to Target. We picked up two yesterday and we also picked up the cube, the cube goes the three cube organizers as well from target i'll put up pictures on the screen just so you guys know what i'm talking about i have the three cube organizers in my room i actually stack them on top of each other and that's typically what you guys see behind me when i'm recording my sit down video so she picked up two of those to stack them on top of each other in addition to two of the bookcases the bookshelves so she put one bookshelf in her room and the other one she decided wasn't going to work to organize the shoes so i ended up obtaining it so you guys are going to see me work on that and how i decorate it as well so that being said i'm going to go ahead and run the clips back to last night and then we'll jump into today and i put up my bookcase and worked on that flashback Early the next morning. I'm weak. Not me finding these. Where do we take these? Hmm? Where do we take these? Right. These pictures. You can even sit in peace. Cause all of these niggas be on you. Got time to wait. 
never really been talking, but so far I've moved my cubes that were against the door and I went ahead and put up the bookshelf. I'm currently looking for the knobs to put the damn shelves on the bookshelf. How the bookshelf looks so far, made a boo-boo right there, but it's fine. And that's the floor, these are the shelves. My room is an absolute mess right now, but don't worry, we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna get it together. I didn't even really start the vlog off. I'll make my intro once, like, before we get out the house. But my plan is to put lights up here. I have two already. I don't know if I'm gonna need more. Because I have, um, darn it. Hold tight. Because I have some of my closet, some lights. I don't know what I'm putting on the shelf as yet, but I'll figure it out. I found them. Good, let's put these shelves on. Oops, need that. I'm gonna need that. Where you going? I'm not too sure where I want to put them yet. I don't know if I want. I might do two or one. Oh, I don't know. Let me just see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do six. Let's put one on at a time. Do not try this at home. I totally missed the freaking hole. Oh my God, can I take this out? Okay, good. Cause I'm here trying to get the aesthetics for the Kazam. I put it in the wrong hole. Okay, that's better. So this is with just a few, well, two shelves. I know my room looks crazy. I didn't do eight. Maybe I should do eight and eight. If it was eight, it would come down here. Then I would like put this next one on here. I don't know. We'll see. Let me put up, figure out where I'm going to put the last one. I'll show y'all. Shabby. Let's see, what do I want to put here? What do I want to put here? <laughs> Child. I don't know if I'm going to put some of my fragrances over here. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I don't know. I definitely want to hide that thing right here. I need a box to go in here. Maybe I'll do a different color on each shelf. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I actually just threw my other thing on my box out. Let me grab that. Mm. Eh. I don't know. We got some work to do, though. I'm going to take a quick shower and run to Dollar Tree and Five Below. Because my mom built the same one. You guys saw us doing that in, like, the first few clips. 
that's what started this whole project. I am gonna take a, sh a shower because I need to like figure out what I want to do over here. If I'm gonna like what I'm, what else I'm gonna put over here. So I'm gonna take a shower and think, and we're gonna run to Dollar Tree and Five Below. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. I might continue working on it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But this battery is dying, so. I'll be back. Just then. This is where we are right now. Things are definitely going to get moved around. So far, this is my favorite shelf. Obviously, because the goat is right there. But, I don't know. I just want to give you guys, you guys an update. I'm about to get in the shower now. end of flashback so i've showered as you guys can see and i filmed the in and i filmed the intro because remember i told you guys that i didn't think it was going to be a separate video and now i'm about to head out the house and i'll also show you guys what the bookshelf looks like right now and what my i'm calling this my um tv console whatever <laughs> in my room i'll show you guys what that looks like right now everything we still got to work on some stuff i might move things around let me flip the camera and show you guys what my TV console looks like what the bookshelf look like looks like and wheezy out of here to five below maybe home goods maybe target and definitely five below though so let me show you what it looks like so y'all know my TV sits on the wall cool 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 this is what the console looks like so these were on the opposite side, opposite side of my room this is what you guys used to see when I used to do my sit-down videos but they were stacked on top of each other vertically <laughs> I had to think about it now they're positioned horizontally and I've stacked them on top of each other so I still have like three empty shelves or three empty cubes that one I just put my lotion that I picked up the other day in, in there but it's not gonna stay might get the organizers to put in those which is why we're heading out and then i need to get some from my mom as well because i think you guys saw yesterday she has blue ones in hers and she got them from target but i'm gonna see if they're at five below and then this is what over here looks like so far right i feel like i want to move this black and white silver section to the top just so there's black white color black white this is what i look like but i really like how this looks on the wall so if i'm doing like stand-up videos tiktok get um ootds i could do it here and we out just made it to five below let's see what they have inside oh these are cute i need to stay focused focused it's not where i need to be but yet i am still over here Okay, we're now at home goods. I bought two things at five below. I'm not gonna say I didn't need them. One I didn't need. Well, I guess I didn't need either of them, but there I'm gonna make use of use for both of them. I'll show you guys that in Sunday's vlog because it doesn't pertain to this vlog. But we're at home goods. I'm just gonna go in and see if I find any like decorative things, and then I'll go to Target and pick up the bins for my mom because I didn't see any in five below. So let's go. Let's go. My voice sounds like it's cracking. Why is that? I can sing. <laughs> How cute are these chairs? So cute. I don't need them though, but these are real cute, real cute. Okay, they have all the Chinese New Year things out. 
super cute. If I had a home, these would be coming home, okay? Leaving home goods with nothing in hand, so probably a good sign because I don't know. Maybe I just need to be sticking to what I came outside the house to get, which were those organizers. Target has their own little home section. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really see anything though. And I'm surprised because this home goods is usually good. Currently at Target, and when I tell you the struggle to get into the parking lot was real, what does Target have? We about to go find out. Okay, in Target, I found the cubes for my mom. She wants the blue. You guys saw that already. But I'm trying to decide if I want to get these for myself because I have like two open ones. I don't know if I should get these now or not. I am back home, sun is setting as you guys can see. I purchased some things, nothing for my DIY project today, but I love how the sun hits this. Look how pretty is that one shelf. Still have some work to do with, due to it. Don't know if I'm gonna keep those boxes up top, the black boxes, the YSL boxes, but I just love how the sun hits. So I'm back with some updates. I was really trying not to be that girl that put all these boxes up here but there's things in the boxes and I typically keep the bags in the boxes and they're kind of falling out of my closet right now too I'll just put them on here I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like this but it looks good let me show you what it looks like so far and I did incorporate some fragrance boxes on there as well I don't know if I'm gonna keep this situation but I love how that top shelf looks I put like my designer sunnies up there and I had the boxes and then love i just love the black and white maybe i just need to get rid of all the color and make everything black and white mm, i don't know but i do like the pop of color in between each shelf too i don't know i moved that gold shelf down it was at the top before i moved that down and that's what the bottom looks like I gotta work on these bottom two shelves so far i love the first and third shelf love 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 24 hours later okay you guys i'm back on the cam it is actually the second day i did a lot of work yesterday i still have some work to do but i feel like it's time for me to show you guys the progress that i've made and if i change things around in the week then i'll share that in sunday's vlog but i'm super super pleased with how our bookshelf looks i also really like how my little tv console looks as well i'm saying console because it's not really a console i'm just making it like that type of setup type of thing in the room but i'm super pleased with how everything turned out so what do y'all think y'all think it's time to see how everything it was oh, oh okay ready one wait that's 11 one <laughs> two three ta-da Okay, I guess I'll start at the top and then I'll show you guys everything at the bottom. Let's start at the top. So at the top, I have this Chanel inspired poster. I actually got this at Lotless. I got this some months ago at Lotless. And I actually, I've been buying things for when I moved out since I moved out of, of my apartment in Buffalo. It's crazy. Like by the time I move into my apartment, which is one of my biggest goals, I'm probably going to be sad because I have so many things. I probably just knew. I probably, I will probably just need to buy furniture. I have so much decor. I have so much like kitchen appliances. I've been like just stocking up on stuff and just keeping it in my house and best believe I've taken it with me when I move so yeah back to what I was saying I got that art at lot less for $20 I got it some months ago I'll leave links to everything down below if I can find similar items if you guys are interested in like um, in purchasing anything that you guys see here but the vase that's right next to it is from Dollar Tree I think no I lied it's from Ikea it's from Ikea and I just put some ornaments some silver disco balls they look like disco balls but they really are ornaments 
I put those in the vase and I have these two flowers that I also got from Ikea. Then on the first shelf, I have a few of my designer sunnies. Let me move y'all up just a little bit as a matter of fact so you can see it a little bit more, a little bit better. I have my designer sunnies on this two-tier shelf. I just put a black opium YSL fragrance box there just because I felt like the black and white, it needed something. I have my handbag boxes up there as well. On the second shelf, I did have my letter here, but it did break. So I did try to fix it with some wood glue. I might have a picture of how it looked last night. I'll pop it up on the screen. I don't know. I'm still working on this shelf right here, but golden and white was the inspiration for this shelf right here, the color scheme for the shelf. So that's what I have here. I have my Larve box. I have this gold butterfly dish that I got at Target that I got recently. It was in the $5. Five. It was in the bullseye section so everything is five and under i believe in that section so i won't have a link because they don't put those on the site you have to pop into your target to find them i also have my kiali box right there because i wanted to pop some pinks in here as well that's why that letter chart was on here as well and then i have my jewelry set up storage containers from amazon i have a picture of my grandma basically saying bitch don't touch me <laughs> and then this is probably my favorite shelf ever as of right now it's my favorite shelf I have some designer boxes as well down here. I have my Buddha sitting on this heart riser that I actually got from Dollar Tree. It's actually in Dollar Tree right now. It's in the Valentine's Day area. And then I have two magazines. I think both of them are Bazaar magazines. Both of them have a picture of Rihanna. But only one is visible. The second one is behind it. So now I'm actually going to take you guys off the tripod. So... Let's do that real quick so you guys can see the other shelves. So on this shelf right here, I have another handbag box. I also have my Kayali down here as well. I have my elephants. I also have this tray that my grandma sent me. I think she got it in some country. My grandma lives in London. She's always traveling. I also have my Fenty boxes there. One includes a pair of my Fenty glasses. And then the other one is from the Fenty perfume. And then this is the last shelf. So at the back of the last shelf to the left is my skims and fendi collaboration box i also have this book that i actually picked up from the louis vuitton exhibition hold up this is from the louis vuitton exhibition that i went to the 200 trunks exhibition that i brought you guys along with me to during vlogmas and then i also have this chanel pouch my mom literally gave this to me when I was helping her organize her shelf because you know she picked up one of the bookshelves as well and she found this while cleaning out her stuff. So all I did was put a candle in there to make the pouch stand up and that was that. And then you guys are pretty familiar with this vase. I got this from Amazon and then I just have my Margella box right here as well just because I was like listen we have space let's make use of the space. And then nestled behind here is my <laughs> oil diffuser that I'm hiding back there but you can't see it if you're just standing up and, in and looking in front of the bookshelf. So I I also forgot to mention that I added lights. I think I told you guys that last night, but I added these puck lights to three of the shelves. I only have three. I would love to add lights to each shelf just so that the whole thing can be illuminated whenever I turn it on. And I do have, it's right here. I do have a little remote. The puck lights did come with a remote and you can turn them off, turn them on. And you can also switch up the colors like how fire is that that is fire 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 and you guys can see the colors are changing as i talk so that's fire but yeah i do plan to add more puck lights to my shelving unit i just need to find them these can be found at like five below amazon i might be ordering mine from amazon because i did pop into five below with you guys yesterday and i didn't see any more lights so i might be ordering mine from amazon but yeah how are you guys, how are you guys feeling it i love it so much I had no intentions of putting boxes and stuff here, but it really does elevate it a little bit. And I'm planning to do a lot more OOTDs, just like content videos. So this might be like my new backdrop. But let me know what shelf is your favorite. Is it the black and white shelf? Is it the gold and pink shelf? Pink, which is this one right here. I'm going to add some more pink stuff. Is it the blue and green shelf or is it the purple white shelf purple and white shelf the one at the bottom i just had throwing pops of color throughout the shelving unit and added some black and white just because i felt like i didn't want it to be all monochromatic let me go ahead and show you guys how my tv console area looks now and tv console area looks now it's not finished either i have some more things that i want to change around on here but this is how it looks for right now Bear with me because I'm trying to hold the camera 
and position it but at the top I have just some pictures and I have my plants I have my cactus and my bamboos and then I have pretty much all of my daily skincare right here as well I also have this heart mirror I found it at five below I bought this piece of art at TJ Maxx home goods Marshall's one of them and you guys can see it's still in the frame because this I told y'all when I'm ready to move baby I have everything that I need I also have some candles from shop absolute you guys saw me put can you guys saw me put candles to the far right I packed those candles up and then I also have my Givenchy bag that is like my everyday grab and go bag and then to the back behind it I do have some art that was sitting on my walls but I took it off and put it back there just for the black and white vibe cow print vibe yeah no I love me a cow print and then over here I have my journals some stickers and then I have a souvenir from Dominican Republic and this gold card I do have my cameras and stuff all the things that I use on like a weekly basis some of my cameras my lenses SD cards and stuff like that I do want to pick up another one of these cards but I didn't see it at Target I did purchase it in, at Target in the bullseye section so it was under five dollars so I won't have a link for that and I do want to put that at the bottom at the bottom underneath the candles but until I find that we'll just leave it as is underneath here I have all of my books books that I've read books that I need to read and a candy dispenser from five below that I picked up with you guys and then down here I have some more sunnies definitely not all of my sunnies I need to work on organization for my sunnies for sure and in the last cubicle I do have some skincare stuff that I'm currently hiding that's why I want to get another bin like this like this so that I could put some of my skincare in here that I'm not using at the moment that I need to try out so I have a few things down here so I'm not gonna lie this black cord for my TV is bugging me a little bit what can I do what can I do I know I can hide it but I don't know we'll see but yeah this is how the console looks you guys will see a candle on the left I have some more things that I have to move around but yeah this is how everything looks I don't know if I'm going to keep this portrait here. We'll see. I just put it up there since it was just sitting on my floor. So how are we feeling it? How are we feeling it? I'm not going to lie. This is my favorite DIY. I do like how over there looks. But I have some work that I still need to do over there. Until I'm like 100% satisfied. But she's cute. She is cute. But I just have to figure out what else I need to work on over there by the console. But I love her. Love this. You guys will be seeing a lot more of it. I still need to figure out my filming setup. I don't know if I mentioned at all how much I paid for the bookshelf. I do know I told you guys I bought it at Target. But it is being sold for $37. I might have included a price tag on the screen when I was building it. But I don't remember actually verbalizing the price. So it is $37. I think I also put up a picture on the screen showing you guys how it looks. I'll also leave links down below. I'm not going to lie for $37. That ain't bad. Four or five tier bookshelf okay that's not bad you can display a lot of different things on it hell you can use it as a bookshelf you can use it as a closet I've seen the most creative DIYs with this bookshelf so let me know if you have it I know a few people do already have this in their home and they're using it a thousand different ways but this is how I decided to decorate mine I also wanted to make a comment on the difficulty of building this bookshelf not gonna lie I, I built this by myself it was not hard at all however I did need my mother's help to put the top part onto the bottom part as you guys saw in the video I think I captured that part just because you want to make sure that you're stabilizing the bottom while putting the top piece on it so I will say there are times that you might need some help but other than that it wasn't hard at all I'd give it a 5 out of 10 in regards to difficulty you could definitely build this on your own because I've built my Ikea Alex 9 and that if you've purchased anything from Ikea then you know then you know it is not for the week so yeah, just keep that in mind. So yeah, you guys, that basically brings us to the end of the video. Again, if I make any minor adjustments, I'll share them in this upcoming Sunday's vlog. If I can find things, I'll leave them linked down below in the description box. So just check that out. And comment down below and let me know what shelf is your favorite shelf. If you enjoyed today's video, don't head out. Do not head out before leaving your girl a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below as well and join the Stush game. Become a Stush gal. And also follow me on TikTok and on Instagram at the Stush Life. And until the next video, which will be Friday, this Friday. Make sure you're here. Love you guys and I'll see you guys all then. Bye guys.